Hey guys, it's Andrew again, and today we're going over pendulum painting. Now what this is going to do is going to create an elliptical pattern. So what we have to do to get started is we have to have a empty cup. This is for what we call a catch cup from when the paint starts dripping. You have to catch it in here. Close it off there. You have to have your apparatus. So this is basically a water bottle with a glue tip on it. Card stock for the paint to dry to. You have to have your tarp or plastic underneath it so that it doesn't get everywhere on the ground. You need some paint and a cup. We're going to have uh, a pitcher with half a thing of paint and then you just need to dilute it with another half of water. And I have my pitcher here. You need a stirring utensil. Uh, you're going to have a label with the school and the teacher's name where the students will write their name on it and stick it to the back of their picture. You're going to have another station where you're going to be drying uh, these pictures. They're going to have clothespins with a line that is taped to a table so that it doesn't blow away while it's drying. And there's going to be four to five students per station and six setups at each at each place. And on another table there's going to be uh, six different gallons of paint different colors. Um, so if you need to refill, you just go over there and get your get your paint and come back and fill it back up. But at your table, there will be already pre-mixed paint uh, of a certain color. But today, I'm going to show you how to mix it, just in case you run out, so that you can see it. This is uh, just a little bit of paint. What you want to do is kind of go for a half and a half. So I'm just going to pour a little bit in there and then mix it up. Make sure it's not too watery. Make sure you get all the clumps out best you can. It's gonna get a little messy sometimes, so just get ready for it. And it should kind of look like ink is what the consistency should be like. It shouldn't just run off to where the, your utensil is clear, it should stick to it. But once you get that consistency and you get all the clumps out, and that's going to happen sometimes, so don't worry about it. That's what the tarp's for, or the plastic bag. So once you get your mixed paint, what you have to do is pour it inside your apparatus. Just make sure the nozzle is closed. Kind of lean it over the side here. Pour all of it into your apparatus. Okay. Once you get that set, kind of set your cup aside. Make sure your paper is centered, get your catch cup ready, and then you gotta get ready to open the nozzle. So what happens now is you open the nozzle and kind of give it a twirl. So get, let the students kind of just spin it with the paint in it to make sure they get the right rhythm so it doesn't sling all off of their paper and not make the right pattern. So just kind of give it a turn like that, and it's gonna create an ellipsis, an ellipsis when it paints. So let me try this again, get the right little motion in order, I think I got it, so let's try it. So open it slowly. Just open it into your catch cup until it starts dripping. Uh, maybe a, get a little string going. Okay, once you get your little string going, then let it spin. Once you get it where you want, kind of catch it with your catch cup. Turn it off. Pick up the painting. I'm gonna get a shot of that. And it's gonna create this ellipsis. So mine, might have, mine might be a little watery, so it's gonna run. So I put a little too much water in it, so what you wanna do is not quite get it that bad, uh, but just a little bit more paint and a little less water. And it should be thick enough that it won't run, it'll just stick. And once you get your painting and the student's happy, just go hang it up on the line for it to dry, make sure the label's on there, and the student is done. 